The Lebanese government says its visa suspension policy for Nigerians is aimed at stopping human trafficking of young Nigerian girls. The Lebanese ambassador to Nigeria, Hussam Diab, while briefing the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Joffrey Onyema in Abuja, says that about 500 girls initially stranded in Lebanon have been returned to the country. Diab says that most of the girls were illegal migrants but got stranded while in Lebanon. Lebanon has so far uh, brought back uh, 500 uh, Nigerian workers that were stranded in Lebanon. Uh, in half of them almost uh, and more were um, uh, 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 sponsored by Lebanese companies, by uh, Lebanese community in Nigeria. As of the 1st of May of this year, uh, the Lebanese uh, government has stopped issuing visas for domestic workers, uh, for uh, uh, ladies coming from Nigeria. Uh, this will uh, definitely stop any new cases from uh, arising. Um, they would not be able to get into Lebanon. They, uh, there is a specificity for the issue with Lebanon is that all these girls are entering Lebanon legally. So there is no smuggling. There is no human trafficking in the term of human trafficking. It's uh, trafficking these girls illegally into Lebanon. So I think what is uh, not always well known uh, is a statement that you made that you're going to stop uh, for the time being um, any more recruitment uh, from Nigeria uh, of uh, domestics or uh, things like this. And I think stop the visas for, domestic stop the visas, uh, uh, for, domestic. for domestics, exactly. Ladies. Yeah, for young ladies and I think this is this is um, so to allow us and to give us time to um, uh, to review the whole situation and uh, and to ensure that if you know we get our labor laws uh, in place and that we have good regulation of that mechanism and that it cannot be uh, a means for uh, uh, exploitation. Uh, in uh, in any way, so this is also, I think, a very good uh, initiative, and um, one that we fully uh, support.